Peace up, A-Town down. Yeah! Okay! Usher, 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 Usher. Lil John! Yeah, 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 yeah. So for my last lecture video, we're going to have one of your most important topics in Math 100, which is your rules for differentiation. So last time, we were able to discuss the definition of your derivative in terms of the limit. And then we were able to compute some examples of the derivatives of some functions. So ang gagawin mo lang is ipa-plugin mo lang dito. So yung dito sa part na to, you'll just replace all x with x plus h and then minus the original one over h and get its limit as h goes to zero. Now, what if I have this function? I have this somehow complicated function. You know? So how do I find its derivative. If I try doing this, I'll get something like this. You no, know? replacing all x's with x plus h, I get this. So the original, showing f of x over h. Getting the limit of this, I hope you can see that it's gonna be very difficult and daming computations na mga yare. You no, know? expand mo patong cube, patong squared, pagsasamay mo pa yan. So it's going to be very difficult. So that's the purpose of this lecture, you know, to make differentiating. Differentiating is the process of finding the derivative. You know? So we're going to make uh, derivative computations easier and faster. Before we continue, so just some reminders. We're gonna, you're going to be seeing all of these notations, f prime of x, d over dx, and d sub x. All of these mean the same thing, same thing naman, no? they, all mean your derivative. Okay? So, ano-ano nga ba yung ating rules for differentiation? These are the things you can just remember and apply every time you're performing differentiation. So, una, if I have a constant function, no, yung derivative po ng isang constant function ay zero. Okay? Whatever that constant number is, if it's a constant function, its derivative is always zero. Next, I have derivative of x to the n. This is going to be very used a lot. If I have x to the n, kung ano man yung rational number n yan, it could be x cubed, x squared, x to the one half. No. Then its derivative is something like this. nx to the n minus 1. So, para matandaan mo, uh, just think of it like this. No? Parang binababa mo lang si n dito. And then you'll subtract one sa original exponent. Okay? Next, if I have a constant multiplied to a function, to get its derivative, I just get the derivative of the function and then just multiply the constant at the end. So parang you can just ignore the constant. It will not affect your differentiation. And then, if I have a sum of two functions, no, f plus g, the derivative po ng f plus g is the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. Okay? So, pag samasamayin ko lang yung derivative ng bawat term, that's the derivative of your entire function. Similar lang din po if you have a minus here. Okay? Good. So, nga, let's put this into practice. Let's find the derivative of the following functions. As you can see, most of these functions ang hirap na gamitan no limit definition. Kaya maganda na alam natin yung mga techniques na to because it will make your differentiation so much easier. Okay? Game number one. The derivative of this function, again, sabi natin, it's a constant function. Its derivative is always zero. Okay? Very easy. Number two, I have x to the fifth. How do I find its derivative? Take note, it's something of the form x to the n. So, ang derivative niya, nx to the n minus 1, bababa ko lang si 5 sa tabi, tapos bawasan ko yung 5 ng isa. Okay? So, its derivative is 5x to the fourth. Okay, next. y equals x. No? So, x is also of the form x to the n, right? It's of the form x to the 1. So, I can just use the same form. This is called the power rule, by the way. 
no i could just use the power rule no and have my derivative and have my derivative like this no? okay binaba ko si 1 then subtract 1 from the exponent i have 1x to the 0 that's simply 1 anything that is to 0 is 1 okay good number 4 square root of x mm -hmm. what can we use power rule lang po ulit because square root of x is actually x to the one half. Okay? So again, same old, same old. Baba natin si one half sa tabi. Magbawas tayo ng isa. One half minus one, that's one half minus two over two. So I get one half x to the minus one. This is fine. This is enough as an answer. But simplify lang natin ng konti. Pwede kong ibaba yung x to the minus 1 half. Ano mangyayari? Magiging x to the positive 1 half. No? Pag binaba ko si x na denominator. And then yung x to the 1 half, it's square root. So I have this. 1 over 2, square root of x, and derivative ng square root of x. Next. Number 5. I have 1 over x. Again po, this is also of the form x to the n. Because 1 over x is just x to the minus 1. So, what can we do? I have minus 1 sa tabi. Bag minus 1 ako dito. I have negative 1 x to the minus 2. Or, pag binaba ko tong x to the minus 2, I get negative 1 over x. So, I will strongly suggest that you already familiarize with the derivative of square root of x and 1 over x and derivative ng square root of x, tandaan nyo na, no? Na 1 over 2 square root of x and derivative ng 1 over x, tandaan nyo na negative 1 over x squared. That's because these two are going to be appearing many times in the future. So you will encounter them a lot. So maganda na alam na rin yung derivative nila on, it, on their own. Okay? Good. Number 6. I have 6x cubed. I have c times f of x, a constant multiplied to a function, x cubed. So, ano sabi natin? I could just ignore 6 here. Kunin ko yung derivative muna ng x cubed. But x cubed is just x to the n, no? So, baba ko si 3 minus 1. Yung x cubed, 3x squared lang. Tapos multiply ko si 6 dito. My final answer is 18x squared. Okay, then, I have this very long polynomial function. Imagine, diba, doing the limit definition here. So, thankfully, we have your rules for differentiation. Okay, so sabi natin, yung derivative ng sum at difference ay difference at sum lang ng derivative. So, I can just get the derivative of each term, then pag samasamahin ko, then that's the derivative of this entire f of x. Okay? So, isa-isa lang natin. Game. Itong una, may constant na nakamultiply sa x to the fourth. I can just ignore negative one-half muna. x to the fourth is what? 4x cubed. Tapos pag sinama ko si negative one-half dun sa 4, magiging negative 2x cubed. Okay? Oops, ayan na. Yung x cubed naman, madali lang yan. 3x squared. Ganun din po sa 2x squared, baba ko si 2, magiging 4 ito. Ito mababawasan ng isa. So, x to the 1 or x na lang. I get 4x. Minus 8x, yung x, derivative niya kanina, 1. No? So, naging negative 8 lang. Yung pi is a constant number. So, its derivative is just 0. Okay, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay, number 8. I have something like this. I have difference no, of two things here. So, kunin ko yung derivative nito minus derivative nito. But, oh, okay, pero, uh, let's look at it this way, no? para mas madali. 4x squared is just 4x to the minus 2. So, meron kang x to the minus 2. It's x to the n. So, alam mo yung derivative nun. Yung cube root of x, it's x to the 1 third. So, alam mo rin yan. No? It's game. Power rule. This will be equal to, baba ko po si minus 2 dito. I have negative 8. Tapos, eto mababawas ng isa. Magiging negative 3. 
So negative 8x to the minus 3. Ito po, baba ko si 5 thirds dito. Si 1 thirds dito. So I get negative 5 thirds x raised to 1 third minus 1. That's 1 third minus 3 over 3. That's negative 2 thirds. So neg negative 5 thirds x to the negative 2 thirds. Alright, so that is an enough answer already. You don't need to simplify, but if you want to simplify, you can into something like this. Baba ko lang si x to the minus 3, magiging negative 8 over x cubed. Ito pong x to the minus 2 thirds, pag binaba ko x to the positive 2 thirds, ay yung x to the positive 2 thirds, that's cube root of x squared. Okay? So this is my final answer for number 8. So I have to move in inside since it started raining outside. And I think you can still hear it here. But anyway, let's continue. So this time, let's add another differentiation rule. It's called your product rule. It tells the derivative, tells about the derivative of the product of two functions. No? And plot twist, it's not the derivative or the product of the derivative. The derivative of f times g is not f prime times g prime. Instead, we have this formula right here. So yung derivative po ng f times g ay equal sa f times g prime plus f prime times g. So para matandaan nyo, think of it like this. It's like copying the first, differentiating the second, plus differentiating the first and copying the second. Kahit naman magbaliktad itong dalawang terms na yan, since addition naman yan, it doesn't matter. Okay? So, alimbawa, if I have these functions using the product rule, we can get their derivatives. Alimbawa, itong una, I have here f of x. I have the product of two things here. So, I can use product rule. So, ano nga po ulit yun? Copy the first. So, para makuha yung derivative, copy ko yung first factor. And then, derivative ng second, x cubed minus 9. Well, x cubed. It's just 3x squared, and then 9 is just 0 and derivative. So I have here times 3x squared plus derivative naman nung first. Yung first uh, 4 over x squared is 4 times x raised to negative 2. Tama? 4x raised to negative 2, but I can bring down negative 2. Multiply ko sa 4, magiging negative 8x raised to negative 3. Tama. Tapos itong 2 square root of x, sabi natin, tandaan nyo yung square root of x, it's 1 over 2 square root of x. Tapos eh, may 2 pa ako dito, so yung 2 sa baba ng 1 over 2 square root of x magka-cancel. So I have 1 over square root of x. Okay? Times... Ito yung f prime, ah, derivative lang yan nung first, times copy the second. You yeah, have this as your final answer. Okay? Good. Next, g prime naman tayo. This number two example is also a product of two things, so I can use product rule. Again, copy the first, times derivative nitong second. 2x squared becomes 4x, and then 3x is just 3. Negative 1 is just 0. So I have 4x plus 3. 4x plus 3. Plus, derivative ng first, negative 6x when differentiated is just negative 6. Mawawala lang si x. Itong negative 3 over x, it's just negative 3 times 1 over x. But sabi natin kanina, ang 1 over x no, is negative 1 over x squared and derivative. So negative 3 times negative 1 over x squared, I have positive 3 over x squared. That's my f prime times copy the second times g. I have this. That's my derivative. Okay? So ganun lang po kasi simple gumamit ng product rule. Now let's add another differentiation rule and I think you can guess what is it? It's your quotient rule. This time, we'll talk about the derivative if I have a quotient no, of two functions. So, ano nga po? Ano kaya ang derivative ng f over g? Well, it's not f prime over g prime. Mayroon din tayong susunding formula na iba tulad sa product rule. 
And it's something like this for your quotient. G times F prime minus F times G prime over G of X squared. Okay? May mnemonic po, nasikat na sikat na ginagamit. To remember this, I have, or we have this mnemonic, it's low d high minus high d low over low squared. So, ang sabihin yan, you copy the denominator, that's the low, times derivative ng high, kaya d high, that's f prime, minus copy the high, that's f of x, d low, times d low, derivative ng baba, so g prime over low squared, or sometimes yung iba low low, so g squared, okay? Low d high minus high d low over low squared. Denominator times derivative ng numerator minus numerator times der derivative ng denominator over squared ng denominator. Okay? Let's put this into practice and find the derivative. So, mapapasin nyo, pakomplikado na lang, pakomplikado yung functions na kaya natin i-differentiate no, as we unveil uh, more differentiation rules. So, this time, we can do this na. Halimbawa, itong una, I have here a quotient of two things. So I can use quotient rule. Game. Low d high. So low. Copy ko yung ilalim. D high. Derivative po nung nasa taas. Yung square root of x, it's just 1 over 2 square root of x. Yung x to the 7, it's 7x to the 6th. So this is my d high. Tama. Minus high. Kinopy ko lang yung taas. Tapos derivative naman yung baba. Yung baba, it's just yung 4x cube is 12x squared. Tama? Binaba ko lang si 3 minus 1 sa exponent. So 12x squared minus 7. Okay? So this is my numerator. It's low, the high, minus high, the low. Over low squared, just square this denominator. And this is your final answer. No need to simplify. Pwede na yan. Hmm? Okay? Of course, we'll accept answers like this. Next, number two. Quotient rule ulit tayo. So, following your mnemonic, I have low. Copy ko yung buong denominator. D high. 4 times 4th root of x. 4th root of x is x to the 1 fourth. Tama. So, x to the 1 fourth, x to the n yun. So, ang derivative nun, baba ko si 1 fourth, tas x raised to 1 fourth minus 1. 1 fourth minus 1 is negative 3 fourths. So, I have 1 fourth, x raised to negative 3 fourths. E may 4 pa ako dito. Mawawala lang si 1 fourth. So, I have x raised to negative 3 fourths. Okay? That's my d high. Minus high. D low, derivative ng buong denominator. Polynomials lang yan. So, kaya natin yung differentiate na mabilis. 3x squared is just 6x. 2x is just 2. Minus 8 is just 0. So, I have 6x plus 2. And then, just square your denominator. You'll have your final answer. Again, pwede na po yan. We'll accept answers like this. So, before we move on, your last differentiation rule, let's quickly talk about differentiability. So, ang isang function f ay sinasabing differentiable at x0 kapag po yung f prime no, of x0 ay nage-exist. Ibig sabihin kapag plinog-in ko yung x0 sa f prime of x, I will get a real number. So, from the word itself naman, differentiable, ibig sabihin, something you can differentiate at x0. Kapag naman siya ay differentiable, sa bawat real number sa interval na a, b, then you say that it's differentiable at the interval a, b. And lastly, kapag siya naman ay differentiable sa lahat ng real number, sabihin yung, yung domain ng kanyang derivative ay all reals, then siya po ay differentiable everywhere. Okay, so halimbawa, yung square root of x na function, hindi siya differentiable at x equals 0. No? Nag-e-exist naman yung function Pag pinagin ko si 0, I get 0 Pero yung derivative kasi niya Na 1 over 2 square root of x Hindi nag-e-exist sa 0 
Yung derivative niya hindi nag exist sa 0, so siya ay hindi differentiable at x equals 0. Okay? And then, this is a very important one. Polynomial functions are differentiable everywhere. No, kasi po, uh, ang polynomial functions, kapag dinifferentiate mo, you still get a, another polynomial. Diba? Parang yung bawat term na may x, binababa mo lang naman yung power sa tabi. So, you just get another polynomial. Eh, ang polynomial functions naman ay, ay nag-exist sa lahat ng real numbers. No? Okay? And then last, no? Kapag alam mo na yung f mo ay differentiable sa real number na x0, then sure ka na yung f mo ay continues sa real number na x0. Okay? Good. Now, let's talk about your last rule, which is your chain rule. So this works for composition of functions. So if I have of the form f circle g, yung derivative ko ng f circle g at x0, it's just this. No? F prime of g of x0 times g prime of x0. Okay? So think of it parang kinukuha mo yung derivative ng outer function. Tapos kukunin mo yung times the derivative of the inner function. Okay? Good. Let's have some examples. Halimbawa ito. No, let's try to find their derivative. Halimbawa, itong x to the 4th minus 7 to the 15. How is this, or how is chain rule applicable to this? Well, it's a composition of function. You know? This is just equal to f circle g of x, where my f is x to the 15 and g is x to the 4th minus 7. Di ba po? Kasi ang f circle g, it's just f of g of x, but my g is x to the 4th minus 7. So f of x being x to the 15, if I replace x with g of x, I get this, which is my given. So indeed, ito po talaga ay composition ng dalawang function. Kaya po applicable si chain rule sa kanya. Take note ha, hindi pwede yung ginagawa natin sa power rule na ibababa mo lang si 15, this minus 1. No? Tapos yun na yun. Kasi po, hindi naman siya x to the 15. Eh. No, para lang yun sa strictly para sa something of the form x to the n. But I have here, yung nakaray sa 15 is not just x, but an entire polynomial. No? So, I cannot use that. That's why chain rule is there. Okay, so ano nga pong sabi natin sa chain rule? We just get f prime of g of x0 times g prime. So, derivative lang ng pinaka-outer function papunta sa derivative ng inner function. So, ano ibig sabihin ko by that? Well, yung derivative po na hinahanap ko is just derivative nitong buo. So, yung parang power rule nga. No? Oops, x to the 14. <laughs> Nababa si 4. Pasensya na. So, this is 15x to the 4th minus 7 raised to 14 times, multiply mo pa ngayon yung derivative nung nasa loob na function. Yung g mo. And derivative niyan is 4x cubed. Okay? So, ganun po gumamit. Ang chain rule. O, isa pa. I have this one. So, ano kaya yung parang nasisilbing f g mo dito, no? I have cube root of something. So, maybe ang f of x ko is yung cube root of x tapos yung g of x ko yung something na yan. No? Para pag nag f circle g ako, papasok ko to sa f mo kuha ko tong y. Cube root na itong g of x. Okay? So, paano nga po kinukuha ang derivative? Derivative muna ng outermost function. So, that's cube root. No? E ang derivative ng cube root ay 1 third raised to negative 2 thirds. No? Kaya lang, imbis na x, yung nasa loob ng cube root mo. Okay? Times yung derivative naman ng nasa loob ng function. Yung g of x na mismo. So, ito ng 2x cubed minus square root of x. And then, ano ba derivative niya? Yung 2x cubed is just 6x squared. Yung square root of x is just 1 over 2 square root of x. So, I have this as my final answer. Okay? Next. 
I have here 9 over x plus 2. Uh, for the rest of the examples, I will not explicitly write f and g anymore. Maganda na masali tayo ma-identify at first look. No? So, ito, anong dalawang functions kaya ang pinagsama dito? Well, pwede mo siyang isipin na 9 over x tsaka x plus 2. No? Pag pinasok mo si x plus 2 sa 9 over x, you get 9 over x plus 2. Okay? Okay, so, ano mangyayari? Well, 1 over x ang derivative niya, ang, or ang 9 over x ang derivative niya is negative 9 over x squared. So, yung derivative ng outer function is negative 9 over x plus 2 squared times derivative pa nung nasa loob, which is yung x plus 2. E, ang derivative naman ng x plus 2 is just 1. No? So, my final answer is just negative 9 over x plus 2 squared. Nakukuha na po ba ang chain rule? Isa pa. Number 4. So, I have here, so ito, pagsasamasamahin na natin lahat, no? Halimbawa, dito, mayroon akong product ng dalawang bagay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So maybe I need to use product rule. No? But how do we use product rule? Do you remember? F times G prime. So copy the first times derivative ng second. Etong second, yung x to the minus 7 is just negative 7 x to the minus 8. Tapos, itong negative 8 over x, ang 1 over x naman ay, neg ay negative 1 over x squared. So, pag may multiply kasi minus 8, I get positive 8 over x squared. Plus, derivative nung first times yung second. Yung derivative nung first ngayon, yan yung gagamitan mo na. Chain rule. Kasi, you have 3x squared minus 5x inside an x cube. Inside a cube. Pakita yun? Okay, so I need to differentiate this. So yung outer function muna, so yung itong cube function, no, I get 3 times yung nasa loob squared. Tapos, tsaka mo ngayon imumultiply yung nasa loob. But that's just what? 6x minus 5. Okay? Derivative pa lang yun ng una, ha? Nag-chain rule pa lang tayo. May titira pang step copy the second to end your product rule. Okay? Me and Eric are about to go vandalize some stuff. Hi! Sure about this? Yeah, man, just go. Hurry. <laughs> Sa example na to, pinagsama natin yung product rule at chain rule, no? Pagsamahin naman natin yung chain rule at quotient rule. So I have this function. I have a quotient of two things. Tama. So, I can use quotient rule. Remember the mnemonic, low the high. So copy kasi low times the high. Yung derivative na numerator, I should use chain rule kasi it's a different function inside my square root. Okay? Eh ano ba yung derivative ng square root? Well, it's 1 over 2 square root of x. So yung square root nito is 1 over 2 square root of that times yung derivative pa nung nasa loob, ha? To use chain rule. So, I get what? Ito nang magiging 10x to the fourth. Ito po, minus 8. So, I have something like this. This is my low d high. Okay? Ito yung nag d high tayo, yung nag chain rule tayo. Now, I need high times d low. Yung derivative nung baba, what? I need to use chain rule again. It's a polynomial inside an x to the sixth. Tama? Kita yon. So, gawin natin, yung derivative ng outermost function, I can just put down 6 here, this minus 1 dito, parang power rule. I get 6 times 4x minus 3 to the 5 times derivative nung nasa loob, which is just 4. So, that's my d low. Over, well, law squared is just as simple as this one. Okay? Okay. 
And for our last example, pag sumasama na natin, I have a quotient of two things. Tapos sa numerator ko, may product pa ako. Okay, game. So, low the high. Uh, quotient siya, no, to begin with. You know, yung pinaka-function mo is a quotient. So, quotient rule yung pinaka-gagamitin natin. So, let's follow the mnemonic. Low. No? I have here the denominator times the high. Derivative ng numerator, I have a product. Okay? So, to get my the high, I have to use product rule. Again, paano tayo gagamit ng product rule? I have this. Copy the first times derivative ng second factor. This is, well, you can use chain rule here. Si square root of a different function, square root of something. So I need first to get the derivative of square root, which is 1 over 2 square root, times uh, yung nasa loob, which is just 15x squared. No? 1 over 2 square root times 15x squared. Si 15x squared, sinama ko na lang po sa numerator. Since 1 lang naman yung isa. Okay? Iyon pa lang yung ano ha, copy the first times derivative ng second. First part pa lang ng product rule. Tuloy natin. Plus, derivative ng first. This time, chain rule ulit tayo. Baba ako si 4 thirds. Tapos, minus 1 ako. Kaya, 4 thirds x squared minus 1 raised to 1 third. Times derivative ng x squared minus 1 which is 2x. Okay? So, that's my product rule. Oh, wait. Ito pa lang pala yung derivative ng una times copy the second to complete my product rule. Okay? Low the high pa lang po yan. Ito yung low, ito yung buong the high na nag-product rule tayo. Minus high, well, yung the low naman, madali na lang. Hindi na tayo mag-chain rule at all. It's just 12x plus 9. Over, finally done, low squared, I get this as my final answer. No need, of course, no need to simplify. It's very complicated. Okay? And that ends our discussion for your rules of differentiation. Make sure to practice, you know, answer some examples. It's going to be very important and very useful to you if bumilis kayo mag differentiation, you know, especially for the rest of your coverage in math and handling. That's all. Hello. Hi. It's me. <laughs>